All right, well, I haven't really been fishing a lot because just my stuff's been bothering me a lot. If you watch my channel, you know what I'm kind of going through right now. I got some procedures that need to be done and fixed up, but I'm out here today in, uh, in City Park, and I'm actually about to weigh a fish for George. He just called me a little bit ago and was like, hey, man, I just caught a monster. I'm like, all right, cool. So let's check it out, see what he got after I get the scale out of this bag. Come on. Belly, man. It probably should have been bigger than what it is. Big head. Oh, yeah, I got a bigger head on it. Can you put a boat in here? No. Nah, you're not no boat. To. He went out of motor. Yeah, dude. All right, so we got a weight up on a 5'3. But as you can see, look how long he is. This, you can see how long this fish is. There you go, George. I'm happy with him, for sure. What you caught him on? on top of the frogs. Top water frog, look at that. 35 pounds I found a frog in the last month. There you go. That's what happens when persistence meets time in the park, basically. I mean, that's just what it is. You, If you're out here all the time, you could do it. Unfortunately, like I said, I haven't been able to fish, really. Just been kind of painful to do, so I haven't been doing much of nothing. But we about to let it go in a minute. We're going to get a, a length for y'all real quick. It's bent, too. He's probably about 22. Probably thinks it's going to extreme. Yeah. Kicking out? Yeah, you just kick with me. Yeah, give him to me. Cause he ain't flapping his gills enough. Try to get him. Had to revive it a little bit, but she sent, swam off slowly, or he, whatever it is, probably female, but uh, swam off slow. Just had to revive a little bit better. Well, Dr. Doug, uh, man. Yeah, <laughs> Dr. Doug over there reviving big bass. Just a recommendation for y'all. If y'all catch a big bass, anything over three pounds in City Park, let it go because this is one of the few places we have Florida strain largemouth down here and that's where we catch all the big bass a lot a lot of big a lot of big fish are caught out of city park so y'all just make sure and do y'all duty and let go of the big ones if you want to eat something go catch some bluegill or some catfish or something you don't have to keep these big bass wobble plopper time on the 90 see if we can get it done right there at the bank damn it one a big one but still a fish nonetheless but whatever one a big one so that's a good thing it wasn't a big one that came off come running at me about the same size I lost on the last one oh you both the... oh, see you later little dude you think with them sharp hooks, they don't want to come off, you know? But they do. That's what makes bass fishing so much fun. Sometimes it is hard to land. Oh, God. Dang. Jesus. So violent. That was a violent strike right there. <laughs> I think he wanted it. Ow. See what I'm saying about the sticky hooks? God, dog. Makes you amazed how they don't get off. That was a small one. Hit it so vicious. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to drop a like, drop a comment, share with your friends. Uh, I know it ain't the best video, believe me, I know. And that toward the end, I had my ISO up too much on the GoPro. I forgot to do it from the last time I was out when I was filming. It was pretty dark. But I haven't really been doing much fishing. Still hurt, but I'm getting better. That's the good thing. I'm, I'm getting better. I just had my little procedure done on Tuesday. Pretty much all this is numb right now. So feels pretty good. I'm going to be in Florida this weekend, but I'm not going to be doing any fishing. I'm not really doing much or nothing right now. I'm kind of waiting, you know, and then uh, maybe next week I'll probably start up again, start doing stuff, but I still have some issues with my hand going numb and whatnot, but hopefully all that gets corrected soon enough. Believe me, I'm ready to be back out there. I'm ready to be out there catching fish and making videos and everything else, but I'm almost to a thousand subscribers. This is what I've been working on for about the past two years. So. Hopefully everything will start taking off after that, and uh, it's just going to be good, you know. I'm going to start buying new um, <clears throat> camera equipment, drones, stuff like that. Within the next year, you're going to see a major change in the channel uh, with the editing and everything else. But um, until next time, later.